Now you released what four studio albums under We the Best, with the last one being Trials and Tribulations, mm -hmm. and it, it was like a joint collab with Cash Money Records, also it will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why was that your last album, and um, how did the split go between the um, We the Best and Cash Money at the time? Well, that was my last album because mm -hmm. I decided to want to move and shift my career. Uh, and my thing, I wanted to grow my thing separately, you know what I'm saying? I think that was ultimate. Uh, I think that was like miscommunication, you know, um, with just a lot of things. We both were learning, we both were growing, you know, with the situation that we were in and doing the best that we could do at that time. But it just didn't work out. Sometimes relationships and business relationships don't work out. Um, so for me, man, I just, yeah, wanted to go out and believe in myself and say, hey, man, look, this is the route that we're going to take. Um, but to me, the reason why that was my last album with him, because um, shit, I was under that major label situation, and to me, I didn't want to bring back a fifth album until people understood who I was currently. Mm -hmm. So it's like, this is the new story and the evolution of who I am. Once you fully understand that and what I represent now, then you'll be prepared, prepared for an album. Yeah. Um, now you are um, independent, which you, Hood Nation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how does it feel to be an independent artist? Like, for fully on your own, is it... Um, well, I guess more first is somebody starting off, you know, yeah. not having no music musical background with for the industry. Yeah. Um, do you feel like it's more harder for you now without a major label? Are you? Um, aren't you I'm sorry. Are you partnering with um, Empire? I got a distro through Empire. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so, repeat the question again. Um, like, do you feel like it's more harder without without having a major label pushing you? Or basically, they call it a machine. Uh, I think that. I think that it has its difficulties from going from a major label to an independent uh, because of the workload that you have to take on. But the reality is that you benefit much more from being an independent artist rather than being with a major label. You get to have ownership of everything. You just got to put in a lot more work. So the reality is that God is the greatest, but it's also maybe the most challenging thing that you could take on. You know what I'm saying? But I was always a sponge in the game. I've always paid attention. I've always learned. You know what I'm saying? And I put myself back in positions to where I can empower myself and have the, you know, the understanding and the language and the knowledge to be able to represent myself in that way. Yeah. Now I hate to bring this up on your Protect the Energy tour, but um, you know, like the internet conspiracies, conspiracies, they um have this thing where they kind of say like Empire, they are associated with a lot of artists who have passed away, like um King Vine, you know, Mo Three, this go on and on and on. Like, what are your thoughts on? that idea that people put out there for like the the label Empire? Um, I have no thoughts about it really, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Um, nah, I don't know. We blame a lot. You know, blame to me separates. Um, pointing fingers separates. Um, I've never had no situation like that or never felt no energy like that. Um, so yeah, I, I have no real thoughts about that. Like I've, I've always done great business with them. The boys have always been solid, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't never been no pressure on my end. Yeah. 